statement of Jonathan Sims and Alexander J. Newell, the creators of the Magnus Archives, regarding the Kickstarter for the Magnus Protocol. The Magnus Institute was an organization dedicated to academic research into the esoteric and the paranormal, based out of Manchester, England. It burned down in 1999. Now, almost 25 years later, Alice and Sam, a pair of low-level civil service workers in the obscure and underfunded Office of Incident Assessment and Response, have stumbled onto its legacy. A legacy that could put them all in grave danger. Statement begins. Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome to the Kickstarter. We hope you like what we've done with the place. It is almost entirely featureless. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike the Kickstarter. Ah. We should probably introduce ourselves, though. So after you. Yes, hello. Uh, I'm Jonathan Sims. Uh, I am a co-creator, writer, and uh, main narrator of the Magnus Archives. And I am Alexander Genial, founder and CEO of Rusty Quill Limited and co-creator alongside Jonathan Sims for the Magnus Archives. And why are we here, Johnny? We're doing it again. Yes, we are going to be doing it again, this time with the Magnus Protocol, which is a true continuation of the Magnus verse with all that that entails. Would you call it a sequel, Alex? Stop setting up the thing. Would you call it a sequel? <sighs> sequel doesn't feel quite right. If only there was a phrase for it, Johnny, that someone could coin. I like to think of it as a sidequel. Yeah, you would. We are here because we are trying to raise funds towards production costs and associated bonus content. Um, because with this campaign, we can include extras and rewards and stretch goals that we otherwise just could not. And we kind of want to come out of the gate running on this one. If you've listened to the Magnus Archives, you might notice a slight improvement of production values. Somewhere across the five seasons and 200 episodes. And in this case, we want to start strong. The Magnus Archives... You know, it, it, it finished as one of the most popular podcasts in the world. So Which there, is there's a bar we have to wild. Hit. <laughs> so we should like thank you, but but what? what? So we should probably we should probably talk about like how we came here. So mm -hmm. after season five, we had a had a bit of a rest. You know, good two three days off, and then started. You know, and at various meetings, people would say, "Oh, what, what would you do for like a sequel?" I was like, "Don't be stupid. You could. How would you do that? How would you even?" But if we did, I, mean, I if suppose you, we'd, if you had to, it, we could do it like I mean, this. You know, you could, you could, you could. I mean, it might actually be quite good. No, but just, be, just because it'd be good doesn't mean you should. You know? It's interesting. It though. is it's interesting. Like, and you know, we we could actually just we could. I mean, we we probably should actually. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. That was pretty much a yeah. yeah that was, <laughs> That, well, that was a dramatic, uh, that, that was a recreation of our thought process over the last two years. So, yes, in terms of this as a new project, you can expect there's plenty for new fans. So if people haven't, yes. in, you know, engaged in the Magnus Archives, they're not going to be completely lost here. But there's going to be lots of world building, lots of Easter eggs and that kind of thing, which will, will tickle fans of uh, the Magnus Archives. You're going to get a lot out of it if you have listened to the Magnus Archives. But it shouldn't be incomprehensible if you haven't. Yeah. We're planning three seasons of the Magnus Protocol. Ideally 30 episodes with 22 minutes of pop. Yep. Uh, but we are also having new characters alongside some returning voices and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So you should expect the unexpected in this one. Or the expected, but in a way that you expect in a way that's not the way you expect. Uh, that's something. We should probably talk about what the project actually is. So, without further ado... Spooky! <laughs> I think we'll have a sous-son of eldritch bureaucracy impacting a, just, mountain of mundane bureaucracy. Because <laughs> our heroes, uh, Alice and Sam, are low-level number crunchers, data analysts, keyboard monkeys uh, for the Office of Incident Assessment and Response a obscure branch of the British Civil Service responsible for... No, no, Stuff and things. Assessing and responding to incidents. Yeah, as you do. Mm -hmm. And if you want to learn more about that, the way to do that is... A, Listen to the show. I mean, yes, it will be available for free to the public, admittedly, with ads. But if you want it ad-free, or if you want bonus content, or supplementary materials and things like that, you will have to support to get all of those goodies. 
and we are looking at a provisional launch of October 2023. Yes. I can't speak for Johnny. I'm I'm quite I mean, excited you, by this. I mean, you you, you can. Quiet, this. Johnny. I'm speaking for you. <laughs> yes, I'm. <laughs> Backing this Kickstarter will help us achieve stretch goals and give more rewards to people. Tiers range from one pound right the way up to two hundred and then some, and they're including things like ad-free access to episodes, signed scripts, voice messages. Uh, and there are some unique rewards as well, like maybe some dedications of episodes, producer level rewards, and maybe even naming a character. Just throwing that out there. Don't with absolutely name no them strings Michael. attached. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> There's a lot going on there, but stretch goals as well. We've got many stretch goals. You can yes. all see them on the page. We will be revealing more, I believe, as things progress. A lot of guest writers, because while I am going to be writing uh, a lot of the episodes for this, and me and Alex are going to be doing the writing for the uh, like the whole story, yep. um, we want to get a lot of new voices in. Fresh blood. Uh, the episodes themselves, uh, and find out what scares other people, because we, we know a lot about what scares me. We are also looking at additional stretch goals, things along the lines of maybe a live show or two. A little bit of cheeky video content as well. And and no, and Johnny's favourite thing. Why don't you tell us in great detail about our in-universe spin-off? I would love to, but then you would say, oh, we can't use that take. <laughs> yeah. Because we have... So you're just going to have to trust us that it rules. <laughs> it's going to be so fun. But I think that's everything now, apart from thank you to everyone already. Uh, I think 12,000 of you give or take have already pre-signed. That's so many. Which is quite a lot. It's a lot. It raises the stakes somewhat. But yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled at the chance to get back into Magnus first. And you can back us on Kickstarter from now until December 20th, 2022. So get going because there's a limited time on this one. And then at the end of December 20th, a bunch of these rewards are going to be locked. They'll be closed down. You won't be able to get them anymore. Tick tock. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>